All right, this is going to be the end-to-end -end process for smoked turkey breast bone-in on the big green egg. These are each about two and a half pounds. They've got bone-in on the back. You can get boneless. I prefer bone-in. I think it adds a little bit of flavor. Um, I'm going to I'm going to brine this for at least 10 hours before I put it on, and the brine is below this video. You can see the link. That, that's for a whole turkey, so if you use that brine, use a, cut it in a quarter, so put um, a quarter of whatever the, the, um, the ingredients are. But basically it's, it's these ingredients in water. You mix them up really good in that brine. And then you're just gonna basically soak them in that brine. Soak them overnight, or you know, 10, 12 hours. If you don't have time for that, it's not critical. I think it adds more flavor, but you know, if you wake up on a Saturday or Sunday and you don't have the 12 hours, don't worry about it. So we're gonna let those sit and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's been about 10 hours. So I removed the turkey from the brine and rinsed it off really well. I got the big green egg starting to heat up in the back. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do, I already cut the fat off of this one, but you want to trim these up. You don't want to leave this fat on. It's unnecessary for turkey turkey breast, unlike a, a, a full turkey. So while we're trimming that up, unlike unlike meat such as ribs and pork, brisket. Poultry, you don't want to get to room temperature. You want to keep it cold just because of the health dangers. So you could just take it right out of the brine and cut it up and be getting your grill ready and do, you know have it on there within 20, 30 minutes of, of starting the process. Unlike other meats where you want to you want to basically get it to room temperature. So for the rub, I just made it myself, and the links below this video. Um, nothing too fancy, just a pretty standard rub. Instead of using mustard like I do for my meats, what I'll do is get a Ziploc bag, a big old freezer gallon bag, and I'll get a quarter cup of cannoli oil and put it in there. And then just put your turkey breast in there with it. I'm going to get some of that rub on there. Put your other one. Just get that in there. Basically, just shake it and mix it up, and get the get the the rub to stick with that cannoli oil. That oil will also cause the seal it in a little bit. You shake that for a couple minutes, and then it'll be ready to go. All right. The grill's been getting ready, and I've got these cherry wood chunks in there. I prefer cherry wood or apple wood for turkey. Um, you don't want to use a mesquite or an oak. Save those for your pork and your your brisket. Um, but for for poultry, I prefer apple or cherry. This is cherry. I, that's my preference for turkey, and that's how I've always done it. So you'll see a, a, a nice smoke already starting there. You're going to put the place setter feet up. And this is optional, but I think it adds flavor. I'm going to fill that water pan with half apple juice and half water. That acid's going to help tenderize that meat and give it some more flavor. It'll caramelize it a little bit as well. You put half apple juice, half water. You don't have to put that much because you're only going to smoke this this uh, for about two and a half hours. As a rule of thumb, you want to smoke about 35 to 45 minutes a pound. So these little breasts are probably going to take two and a half hours at the at the most. So I'm going to let that regulate until I get it up to 225. So I'm going to go ahead and dial it in as I usually do about right there. I'm going to take that bottom vent 
and I'm going to leave it about right there until I can stabilize the heat and wait till it gets to 225. All right, that grill is up to about 225. So I'm going to put these, these turkey breasts on there. You're going to want to put them bone side down. Just about like that. I got my meat thermometer in there as usual. Regulate it. Make sure that it's actually staying on 225. I'm going to shut that down and after about an hour I'll put a meat probe in there. You want to cook those probably two and a half, three hours at 225 and you want to take it off when the meat reaches about 162, 163 even up to 165 is okay but i prefer a little little less because you're going to wrap them and you're going to put them in the in the cooler for at least 30 minutes so it'll continue to cook and rise that temperature up to 165 anyway so i prefer you know 162. see you in a couple hours all right it's been about two hours and 45 minutes and those things are looking great That's about perfect. So, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to wrap that in foil. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to wrap it in foil and I'm going to put it in that cooler and let it rest about 30 minutes at a minimum and then uh, take it out, let it unwrap it for about five minutes and then cut it up and serve it and it makes for a great little, great little dinner. Enjoy. All right, it's been resting. So let's see what she looks like. You rest them in those coolers. It really does keep the heat. Just piping hot. That's just perfect. Not too, not too grizzly on the outside, and just perfect tenderness in there. Looks great. Bon appetit.